Welcome to the deep dive. So for what, over 40 years now, we've been battling HIV. This virus, it's infamous, right? Attacks the immune system, but the real kicker is how it hides. It finds these, these secret spots. Scientists call them latent reservoirs. And it's been this frustrating loop, stop the treatment, and bam, the virus wakes up. But what if that cycle could actually be broken? for good. That's why the news out of the July 2025 AIDS conference in Kigali, Rwanda, it's huge. It's about American gene technologies and their program, AGT-103-D. The data they presented, our sources are saying it hints at something, well, pretty revolutionary. Yeah, and I think before we even get into the what, it's really vital to understand the why. Uh. Why has HIV been such an incredibly tough opponent? We've made amazing progress, no doubt. But a true cure, it always felt just, just out of reach. Mm. Because this virus... It's not simple. It's complex. It kind of weaves itself right into our biology. Right. That's sophistication. That's exactly why it's been, like you said, such a tough nut to crack. Yeah. So maybe you can walk us through it. For everyone listening, what exactly is HIV doing in the body that makes it so hard to beat even now? Absolutely. So um, at its core, HIV goes after our CD4 plus T cells. You can think of these cells as like the generals of your immune army. They're critical for coordinating the body's defenses against invaders. If you don't have enough healthy CD4 cells, your immune system just it can't do its job properly. Yeah. Now, we have RT antiretroviral therapy, and it's been a lifesaver, truly. Changed everything. It can push HIV down to undetectable levels in the blood. Which is amazing. People live long lives now. Exactly. Long, healthy lives. But here's the catch. The challenge art doesn't solve. It doesn't actually get rid of the virus from the body. It just keeps it suppressed. Ah, oh, okay. So it's still there. Precisely. And that leads us to these latent reservoirs. Picture them as these tiny hidden bunkers inside certain cells. The virus's genetic material basically gets stitched right into the host cell's DNA. It's not actively making copies, not causing immediate problems, but it's there, sleeping. These infected cells are scattered around the body and RT just can't touch them. So RT is like fighting the active fire. Exactly. You're constantly dousing the flames. But these reservoirs, they're the embers. Still hot, still capable of reigniting the whole thing the moment you stop the treatment. And that's the frustration, you know. Mm. People can be on RT for decades, feel great, have undetectable viral loads. But the virus is still lurking. It means lifelong medication. That ember analogy really hits home. It paints such a clear picture of that constant underlying threat must be exhausting for patients. So, okay, if that's been the big wall, we keep hitting these hidden, untouchable reservoirs. How is this AGT-103T trying to finally climb over it? What's different here? Right, so AGT-103T takes a really different tack. It's what's called an autologous T cell therapy. That just means it uses the patient's own immune cells. The process itself is uh, quite involved. First, they collect immune cells from the patient specifically, those CD4 plus T cells HIV likes to target. Then in the lab, these cells get genetically modified. They're essentially like upgraded or engineered to resist HIV infection. The virus just can't get in and replicate inside these modified cells. So they make them HIV proof? Pretty much, yeah. HIV proof. Yeah. And once these fortified cells are grown to large numbers, they're put back into the patient's bloodstream. But here's the really clever part. They don't just resist infection. They're also designed to actively find, target, and destroy cells that are actively producing HIV. It's like it? creating a personalized, genetically enhanced patrol force within your own immune system. Wow. And what's really neat is the precision. It seems to go after the dangerous, replication-ready HIV, hmm. but leaves alone the bits of broken, harmless viral DNA that might still be around. So think of it as giving your own immune system a permanent upgrade, sending it back in, now immune itself, but also equipped to hunt down the active enemy. It's a proactive approach, not just defensive. So not just a shield, but a sword too, like you said. Yeah, that's, yes. yeah that's a powerful idea. An immune system that doesn't get tired, doesn't get infected, just keeps hunting. Okay, so when they actually tested this, the early trials, what did they find? Because the sources we saw suggested the results were, well, pretty shocking, maybe even foundation shaking for HIV research. They really were. And foundation shaking isn't too strong a word, honestly. Now. We need to remember, this is a small phase one trial, only five patients, but the results were significant. All five showed a major drop in something called intact HIV proviral DNA. Now, that's the key term. Intact proviral DNA is the dangerous stuff. It's the complete functional viral genetic code hiding in those reservoirs, the part that can actually wake up and restart the infection. Okay, so it's targeting the real threat, the embers. Exactly. And get this, one specific patient, the reservoir load went from over 1,000 copies per million CD4 cells yeah. down to undetectable in about 500 days. But here's the truly stunning part, the detail that got everyone talking. 
That patient then stopped ART, and they stayed undetectable for two years. Two years, without any RT. Two years. No daily pills, no constant suppression needed, because it seems their own modified immune system, thanks to AGT-103T, was keeping the virus completely in check. And crucially, the test showed that damaged, defective viral DNA wasn't touched. It proved the therapy was precise, going only after the functional, dangerous HIV. So, for some people, this could mean their immune system controls HIV by itself. That's the definition of a functional cure we've been hoping for. A scenario that, honestly, felt almost out of reach for a long time. Undetectable for two years off RT. I mean, that yeah. just changes everything, doesn't it? The whole way we think about managing HIV. So when these results started coming out, what was the reaction from, you know, other experts, the wider scientific community? And beyond the excitement, what are the big questions still hanging out there? Well, the reaction was definitely a mix. Cautious optimism because it's early days, but also real palpable excitement. Jeff Galvin, the CEO of American Gene Technologies, put it plainly. He said, uh, this data shows AGT-103T can directly reduce the most dangerous part of HIV. It could change HIV treatment forever. Strong words. And Dr. David Hardy, a really well-respected HIV doctor and researcher, he added that if these results hold up in bigger trials, quote, it's the first time we've seen a therapy not just control the virus, but deeply reduce the intact reservoir. Mm -hmm. You know, th these aren't just casual remarks. These folks have spent their lives working on them. Right, they understand the weight of it. Absolutely. But, and this is important, with any big news like this, you have to ask the hard questions. Yeah. Our sources highlight these too. Like, will this work for everyone? People who've had HIV for different lengths of time, different viral subtypes, different health backgrounds. HIV is notoriously diverse. Yeah. And what about long-term durability? Could the virus somehow find a way back years later? Maybe from some reservoir we didn't even know about. HIV has surprised us before. Always need to be cautious with this virus. Always. And then there are the huge practical questions. How fast can something like this be scaled up? Made available globally. Millions could benefit. And the cost. This is complex, personalized cell therapy. What will it cost? Will insurance cover it? Will health systems worldwide be able to afford it? Access is key. These are major hurdles still ahead, even with such promising early signs. Yeah, those are critical points. Right. Moving from a scientific breakthrough to a real-world solution is a massive undertaking. Yeah. So looking ahead then, what are the next concrete steps for AGT-103T? What's the plan based on this groundwork? The next logical step is larger trials. American Gene Technologies has said they're planning to start these bigger studies in 2026. The main goal there will be, first, confirming these initial results, seeing if they hold up in a larger, more diverse group of people. That's crucial. They'll also be working to refine things like, you know, the best timing for treatment interruptions, how to monitor patients safely when they stop AR, nailing down the protocols. The ultimate vision, the dream here, is a future where millions don't need lifelong art where HIV shifts from being this chronic condition requiring constant medication to something manageable, treatable, and maybe, just maybe, functionally cured for many. It would completely redefine living with HIV. That truly would be rewriting a huge chapter in medical history, not just for individuals, but for global health. This isn't just about developing a new drug. It feels like a potential turning point in one of humanity's really long, tough medical fights, that hope. It feels brighter now, fueled by this kind of dedicated science. But, you know, while we're watching and waiting for breakthroughs like AGT-103T to hopefully become reality for the public, there's something really important, something immediate for you listening right now. That's exactly right. Yeah. The single most powerful thing anyone can do today, right now, for their own health and for the community, is simply to know your HIV status. Getting tested, knowing early. It saves lives. It opens up treatment options immediately, allows you to benefit from the highly effective therapies we do have now, and it's absolutely vital in stopping further transmission. It's step one. And remember, for quick, affordable, and confidential HIV testing across the United States, you can visit HIVRNHsguide.com. Like the source you should mention, they have over 4,500 testing labs nationwide, qualified staff, and you can book online affordably, so that resource is there. Okay, so thinking about all this, HIV has been so incredibly resilient, so tricky for decades. What does the promise of AGT-103T, the success, really tell us about the power of just sticking with it, of scientific persistence and trying genuinely new angles on problems we thought might be impossible? I think it speaks volumes about human ingenuity, doesn't it? Okay. That even when faced with incredibly complex biological puzzles like HIV, that relentless questioning, that drive to innovate, it can actually shift the landscape of what we think is possible. Stay informed, stay healthy, and let's look forward to the day we can finally say goodbye to HIV forever. Mm -hmm.